What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have another alien action figure review from NECA from the hit film uh, Aliens, uh, which uh, many people consider this to be the best one. Uh, to me, this is my second favorite alien. Uh, the original from Ridley Sky will always be my favorite of the franchise, but it's very, very neck and neck. I think it's more so the fact that I have more nostalgia with Alien than I do with Aliens, because Alien was the first one I've seen. But Aliens is a masterpiece. So without further ado, Let's look at this beautiful figure. I already have the brown one. I do not have the blue, but I was at Walmart and Walmart had it. So I'm like, yo, let's get this guy in the collection. So you got it on the side, you got Aliens, Ultimate Edition. Here's a look at the uh, blue uh, warrior alien. Looks really great. I actually like that pose. I might try to steal that pose. Uh, you know, once again, Alien, a beautiful cover. These box arts are so cool. Open it up and there is an inside look of the figure and then also the figure in the packaging funny story real quick before i open this guy up <clears throat> when these figures initially released i actually wanted the blue one but when i went to target they had blue and they had brown the blue one they had was severely damaged and that's why i ended up getting the brown one over the blue but i wanted the blue one because the blue one looks so sick but now I'm happy to own both of them. So let's open up this blue alien and check them out. Here the figure is out of the packaging and it is beautiful. Again, it is the exact same figure as the brown one. So if you have the brown, there's no difference except the paint apps. But the cool thing is with alien, what the alien figures are is that it does, you know, you don't really mind buying doubles because there are so many different variations and it's cool to army build them. As far as accessories go, it comes with, like I said, the trademark chest burster, which is always nice to have some chest bursters lying around the shelf. Uh, more face huggers, which is again is always great to have, and then an alien egg, and that's what I think is really cool to have, to have your ha uh, to have your shelf decked out with some alien eggs is always a really cool thing. And there's some bendy wire so you can have it positioned so he's kind of coming out. Uh, and this guy, you know, you just kind of try to find a way to get him to uh, stay stationary for you. But again, with the bendy wire, it, you can do that, so he'll just chill right there. Uh, and then as far as the figure goes, um, I, I, again, I like it. The only real difference is <clears throat> is the color blue. Uh, sorry, the sun is kind of affecting that. So it's the blue. Um, and the blue is really nice in my opinion. I, I do like the blue better than I like the, like the brown one. But the brown one is a really great figure. Uh, I just prefer uh, the blue over it. Because I, I, I like my... I guess I like the uh, the blues and blacks of the Xenomorphs. I think it's really, really cool. And as you can see, the detail is really, really nice in here. Um, I, I really like I like the tail. The tail looks really, really cool. I definitely dig that uh, quite a bit. Uh, I do, I like the, um, I, I really want to get a Alien Resurrection uh, Xenomorph figure, because uh, I really like the tails of the Xenomorph from Alien Resurrection, it's almost like a fin. Uh, I, I just really, really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, man, this, like I said, it, it is, trying to get the sun out of here, sorry guys. This figure, it is, um, it is, the only, the only thing that's different, like I said, is the color. So if you have the brown one, it's not too far off. But once again, you get the effect that when you open the mouth, he has his extra mouth come out. Which I had my brown one, uh, I had my brown one uh, displayed with that one in there. So, you know, I probably have this guy more closed mouth. I'd like to have some options. Same with my Godzillas. I like to have some open, some closed. Uh, the silhouette is really, really nice. I like the uh, the hood of this guy. Uh, I, you know, this has more divots. The original is a lot more smooth. But these are really cool. Really, really sweet looking designs. Very, like, uh, uh, you know, biomechanical. Very, very cool to me. I like the piping in the back. Looks really good. And all in all, like I said, I just think this is a really cool figure. And if you guys are, have been searching for this guy, uh, brown, blue, or the big chap, they are currently at Walmart. So keep checking your Walmart. Uh, I noticed that Walmart and Target kind of get different selections. And uh, Walmart uh, has been getting a lot of the older alien figures. And uh, Best Buy, I found the Predator figure. So if you guys are interested in that, go to Best Buy. Kind of got to go join some NECA Facebook groups. They very much keep you up to date with where is where. Uh, who's got what and that's always to me a really cool thing but let's get some size comparisons with this blue warrior i'll bring out the uh, brown one and we will check how they all look together and here's a size comparison with the brown and blue the different variations of the xenomorph aliens you can get uh and like i said they, they they both look great i don't think you can go wrong with either one i think both guys look really really great together they definitely look very uniform you want an army build you want to represent one of the best movies ever made of aliens get these figures uh I, like i said I, I don't regret getting them uh, if anything i wish i got them sooner so i hope you guys like this video comment down below let me know what you think of these figures and check out my other content and uh if you, anything else if you could subscribe uh, if you can subscribe to the channel if i can get my words out that would be the best possible thing so i thank everybody for watching it means a lot and i'll catch you guys in the next video
Peace.